Well, good afternoon, Lisa. That's the most important to get a, important part to get across. At this point, both police and Baden High School say there is no danger to any students or anyone at this time. Now, I can tell you the focus of the investigation is on this plane right here, which is sitting in the back end of the Butler County Regional Airport. The initial report to the public was made via Twitter. Hamilton Police Chief Craig Bukai tweeted, officers are at Butler County Regional Airport investigating reports a threat the reports of a threat to crash a plane into a school. But a few minutes later, Bukite followed up by saying, despite initial reports, there is no plane in the air and no immediate threat at this time. Well, witnesses say police did surround this plane here at the airport. It's my understanding investigators are talking to the pilot, but at this point, there is no confirmation from police of an actual arrest or that a threat was actually made involving Baden High School. Hamilton police say they're still trying to sort all of this out, and once they have confirmation of what happened, then they will release another statement. Reporting live in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Okay, Karen, and word of the threat obviously created concern for students and their parents. WLWT News 5's Brian Hamwer continues our live team coverage from Baden High School right now. Brian. Yeah, Lisa, well, school goes on as normal here at Baden High School. Uh, we talked to the folks inside here. They tell us that there were no evacuations, so they didn't have to bring the students out here. Now, at some point, they were made aware of the situation, but we don't know if that was before or after the incident. They also uh, didn't tell us whether there was any kind of commotion here. Uh, we don't even know if the students were even made aware of this at all. But for now, the day goes on as normal. No one going home, and they're going about their day here at Baden High School. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.